Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do Chrome Remote Desktop for Ubuntu on Google Cloud um, and also set up a desktop for that. So what is uh, good about this is like if you're on the cloud, um, um, the internet is highly reliable. So like um, when you're running your algorithm, you have really good connectivity and that sort of thing. Um, and also I wanted to say that like the um, IB gateway, let's say you want to run a, a, a notebook on the cloud. Um, uh, the IB gateway, uh, you need a GUI for that. So like, that's what, one of the reasons why having um, the uh, remote desktop connection with a, um, a desktop is very useful. So let me just show you guys what I'm trying to get to. Like, say you have an instance and you do like start resume, you can do start resume. And then, so I'm waiting for it to start up and resume. And then I'm gonna do uh, Chrome uh, RDP. Um, oops. So I do access my computer. First of all, I have to wait for the instance to, to, to get back up. It's getting back up. VM started. So now I go to, I guess it's on a different email account. So now look, I have this uh, VM, right? The, I have this uh, Chrome remote to my Ubuntu VM. Um, and then I enter my PIN, whatever my PIN is. I'm not sure this is the most secure thing in the world, so maybe uh, uh, write in the comments if you think there's a huge issue with security because um, I'm not familiar with it. So now you can, of course, go IB Gateway as normal. Um, there might be like a tiny bit of latency, and you can also, you can do like your Jupyter Notebook here, you can do um, uh, whatever you want. Um, uh, let's say I, I, I do Jupyter Notebook like this. Uh, by the way, there's a way to do Jupyter Notebook without the, um, without doing uh, uh, the, RD, the Chrome RDP. Uh, you can, uh, I can show you another video on that if you guys are interested. But for the um, IP gateway, I'm not sure there's another way. You have to have like some sort of GUI. Um, so like, okay, so I ran this notebook, just showing you. Cause like what you can do now is like, let's say you have a notebook. Um, uh, okay, so the, the main idea is to, to get the GUI so you can, um, do the IB gateway, but like there's a command to shut down. So um, uh, I just use ChatGPT. You can do you can do like let's say in your script you want to shut down in ten hours. You could do sudo shutdown plus six hundred. So like um, so maybe like um, can you do this in Python with OS? So just an example. Let's let's just do the shutdown in. Uh, OS module. Okay, so like uh, you can do this like in your script. So let's just, uh, this shuts down in, uh, okay, okay, shut down time in seconds. Uh, um, uh, this should say minute, uh, okay, whatever. Uh, just make sure you have the right units, but like you can do something like this. Uh, and then you, uh, uh, okay, so now you can do like OS that shut down. Uh, you, uh, you can do like one here and let's do this command, uh, shut the schedule to shut down at, uh, I guess at, at any second. I just want to show you guys that it actually shut down. So now I have these VM instances. Uh, I guess it didn't shut down yet. <laughs> Um, uh, scheduled shutdown for 26, uh, 10, 19. Oh, I might've messed up. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is not the point of the video. I don't want to spend too much time on this. So let's just uh, get out of it. I just wanted to show you guys that you have some flexibility, but like, um, I actually don't recommend using the Jupiter with, uh, um, with the Chrome Remote Desktop. I remember, I recommend doing this just for IB Gateway, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, so now I can do, and by the way, you at first you get $300 in credits for um, uh, Chrome Remote Desktop. So you can just do stop. This stops the VM. Um, suspend also does something similar. Um, there's a slight, you still pay for resources when you stop it, but like it's ready to go when you need. Um, and you can delete the instance to save everything, but then you have to do the process again. So let me actually explain the process. So um, 
So let's start from scratch now. Okay, so stop until it, it stops it. But let's Google uh, um, Google Cloud Console. Now I want to show you from scratch how to do this process. Okay, so the, the idea is we want to um, set up uh, Chrome or Desktop on Ubuntu. So um, uh, first of all, let's look that it stopped, see? Um, so now uh, I, 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 I um, go to VM Instances. And the, you, you might have to set up a project and that sort of thing, but that's not the point of this. So I do create instance, I create an instance, I'll call this like Ubuntu uh, region. It's, I, I, I think maybe setting it to like US uh, East, maybe that's the closest to, um, to New York, Virginia. Um, and you have a variety of settings, but the idea is to, um, the idea is, uh, okay, so you, you can do containers and that sort of thing. Uh, but like, I just want to show you guys here, you change the boot disk, let's change it. We made it, uh, let's make it Ubuntu. Um, and, uh, select the, the point of this is not to show you guys, you need more, more, uh, disk and all that stuff. Um, you might have to set up, uh, allow some of this traffic. I have to make sure, um, uh, networking. Uh, I don't think you need any of these things. Um, okay okay great um so like now you do create instance right okay so in the meantime while that's creating i will um google um, um okay while that's uh creating i'll do google.com and i'll do uh, chrome uh, remote desktop Google Cloud Ubuntu, and then we're going to get some notes on how to do this. Um, so um, the idea is we want to run get a desktop environment, um, and we want to um, to uh, to do Chrome Remote Desktop on Ubuntu. So now uh, what I can do is I can do, um, and, and if you want, I can make more videos on Google Cloud and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to uh, spend too much time right now. Uh, I just want to show you like. The, the basic idea so you can open uh, a browser window here um, you can also do this in putty uh, and stuff like that so wait a second the idea is just so we can log into IB gateway that's like the main reason uh, authorize Meantime, let's check how much Tesla's crashing by. Okay, that's uh, not part of this video. <laughs> uh, so let's run this command. Actually, this didn't work for me many times uh, for a certain period of time, but now it works again. So like, okay, so now we do a sudo app, we do all these commands, copy, paste. This thing downloads Chrome Remote Desktop. Um, so, um, so I have this, uh, oh, sorry. I have this uh, here, I, I copy and paste. Um, okay, this is the first step. The second step is to, um, you have to install the desktop environment. Maybe the easiest, uh, do, it's best to do the easiest one. So you just copy these steps. By the way, this did not work for me a few months ago for some reason, after it worked. So like, uh, I hope it works for you guys, but now it seems to work again. So like, uh, that's good. Um, uh, because it's a pain in the ass if it doesn't work. Uh, so you now install a Chrome Remote Desktop. Um, and then you run uh, these steps here uh, to, to download. Um, you can download a few desktops. Um, XFCE is the most basic one. I'll show you how to do that. Um, you should also download. Um, so there's three. Th you only have to do these three steps, the first three. Um, uh, maybe even the third one you don't have to do, by the way, just the first two. And the last one is uh, you have an optional install Chrome browser. You should definitely do that. Um, and then, uh, sorry, it's still running. Okay, so now that we're going to copy and paste all the steps. So the, uh, we, we, we copy and pasted that step. 
this was the um, creating this thing, and then uh, um, this is st uh, stuff. Uh, I don't want to go into these steps, but anyways, you copy and paste this. Uh, you wait for this thing to to work. You check on Tesla's price while it's working. <laughs> Hmm, surprisingly uh, holding up a little bit uh, after yesterday's uh, crash or whatever you call that, bloodbath. Um, okay. I think it's more than a bloodbath. It was like a, I don't know what that was yesterday. It was down like almost 14% at one point. This is after being down like 20 plus percent year to date. Rivian's even worse. So um, should stick to algo trading and not speculating on these stocks, you know. So anyways, this is uh, this first step. So now let's do the second step. Um, um, And then the third step, I think the third step doesn't work for me because it's already set up by default. So uh, uh, fail doesn't exist, whatever. Uh, but you have to install this, uh, you should install this Chrome browser. This is the last step. Um, and then hopefully we can be ready to go. Um, so like uh, Chrome browser, let's do that. Um, and uh, then I'll show you the step of like, um, uh, this is where you actually get the um, remote desktop thing. Um, so wait, let's see if it's uh, done installing. Okay, so now you do uh, remote desktop headless. Keep getting this annoying error. Begin, next, authorize. You copy this. Now you go here. Oh, sorry, you go back to, the, um, to this. You do paste, uh, you enter a pin. You hope it works. Um, and now you do remote access and you pray that it works. And now you get like this uh, thing here, but we downloaded Chrome, so uh, is it open with Chrome? Make uh, Chrome automatic. Um, so like, uh, don't sign in. Uh, remind me later. Uh, interactive uh, brokers. This is uh, IB Gateway. Um, you can download it here. download here, IB Gateway for Linux. And then uh, there's some sort of, there's instructions here. So like you open the terminal, you go to downloads. All you have to do is just one command, uh, two commands, honestly. You have to do this command, um, this change mode thing. Um, okay, let me show you guys, because uh, you, you, uh, I remember it. But the, the instructions were right there. It's only two commands. So first of all, let's do um, CD downloads. Let's do LS. And now let's do paste, change mode, like that. Uh, I just copied and pasted the command from IB's website. And now to run the thing, like most things in Linux, you go like this, and then you hope it works. And now it's it's running the thing. Check on uh, Tesla's stock price while we're at it. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so now we finish. Uh, and now let me show you guys. Uh, 
And if you guys want more videos on Google Cloud uh, or cloud in general, setting up Jupyter Notebooks, that sort of thing, uh, write in the comments. Let me know. If, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. You can connect now to IB. You can do whatever you want. Um, that was kind of the goal of this video, that you can, uh, if you have this GUI and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, and now uh, we can shut it down um, so we can go to our uh, VM instances um, and we can do uh, shut down. Let's delete it in this case. But like normally I would just do stop, shut down. It costs a little bit for resources, but let's delete Ubuntu. So now this just shows you how you can do um, Chrome Remote Desktop with uh, Ubuntu. Um, on Google Cloud, I'm pretty sure it's similar on other clouds to do remote desktop. That gives you the GUI to be able to do IB Gateway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I think you get like um, 300 bucks in credit for uh, Google uh, the first time. Anyways, thank you. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, let me wait for this to delete. Anyways, you can wait for this to delete, but let's just, just assume it deleted. So I'll end this video. Hope you enjoyed.